What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing some EU4 with the MNT 2.0 mod installed as Tuscany. In the last episode, things went a little south for us, but some things also turned out well as well. We started colonizing. We took a full idea group. We almost finished a core. Who cares the fact we lost, like, 15% of Hungary and also a uh, province we've had for the last, like, 150 years? Who cares about that? Everything's fine. Everything's going great. Um, but let's go ahead and unpause. I do have the Colonial Conquest CB against Congo and Benin. It was in interesting. And uh, one thing I do want to do... Put you guys back into port right quick. Can I build more boats? I should be able to build more boats. I can build three more boats. Uh, I just got a wife and an heir, a 163, which isn't great. Lost the effects of uncertain succession. Um, I want to split off three. These guys can continue protecting trade in the Tyrrhenian Sea. These guys, I would like to hire an explorer, which I don't have enough diplomatic power for yet. Which is kind of crazy. I could take military tech 150 years early. And by 150, I mean 15. Don't know why I keep making that mistake. Um, one thing I do need to do... Get rid of these mercs. They are probably really expensive. Yes, they are! Alright. Wait until I get 100, uh, 53 dip to hire, another, hire an explorer. And go exploring, because that's always fun. Um, colonists are arriving in 17 and 32 days, respectively. And we're just going to colonize everything. Have a national decision available. Send missionaries to our neighbors. Um, no, I need my ducats right now. Good on both of those counts. I kind of do want to donate state lands to the church just to gain the church influence, although I don't love getting the piety. Estates are restless. Um, several, several of your most powerful citizens from the various estates have come to you with concerns involving the direction of your new government. New direction of your government. Seem especially concerned that this more centralized government might infringe on the traditional rights. Refuse to acknowledge their concerns. Uh, the greater nobles lose ten loyalty. Remind them that many of the advantages that their trusted that trusted partners and friends might have. I gained 10 corruption and 10 absolutism. Well, that would put me at full absolutism. Um, attempt to convince them that a strong state is necessary to defend their lands. I think we can go with this one. Or decentralize slightly. No, we're going to attempt to cons convince them. So 10% chance of something good, 5% chance of something bad, 85% chance of no effect. Alright, no effect. That's fine. There's our first colony, right there. I can give it into a trading company, which probably is going to be necessary. I'd bet 59 settlers a year. May see if I can convert it first, though. If I can't, I'll just drop it into a trading company. Okay. Hopefully my burger loyalty deteriorates. Great. They should still be loyal. Yes. But. It is what it is. Next time I get capped on admin points, I will uh, lower my inflation a little bit. Because it is a little high. I think I am just out of the range for Explorer this month. Yep. There we go. Let's go exploring. Go explore the seas first. So that's how I like to do it, and then hopefully the coast as well. Who 
who owns this right here? Is this Hofset that owns this? No, Grenada owns this. That's interesting. Man, I would really like to reconquer this. Um, also, I need to moth all my forts. Save that money and unappoint this guy. So that he doesn't die. A little bit of unrest in Pumonte. We've discovered Greenland and Iceland. Uncolonized Greenland and Iceland. Is Iceland not habitable? I can't seem to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Apparently Norway. Oh, I see. See, Norway is on the outskirts over here. But when you zoom out, that just looks like the sea, and then Iceland looks like it's a weird shape. But no, I see it now. I see it now. It's like, why is Iceland un unpopulated? Very confused. How we doing when it comes to great power status? Well, I was close. France is a great power. We'll see if uh, reaching my... Um, sending my reach across the seas into Africa can start turning me into a great power. Maybe the New World as well, but, like, I don't know if the New World's going to be worth it for me. I mean, everything's going to flow into the Sevilla node anyway. Which I'll have to probably send trade ships here and here so I can keep this money flowing this way. Actually, could I transfer trade power from here? I could. I am making like two ducats from this though. So how are these doing? Still 59 a year, I mean that makes sense. Really perfect communication with colonies, interesting. Um, oh, I'm losing money now. That is not ideal. Stop paying for the reinforcement, I guess. That'll help. Let this build up some. I mean, I'm going to have to pay for the reinforcement at some point, but... I guess not right now is fine. Pogrom against the Protestant faith in Trent... Do you still have your vassals? Yes, you do. So I want to take this land, this little strip here. I want to take this back, and I want all of this, and also all of this, and this. Who all is declared for the Protestants? Oh, this is the Catholics. This is... Okay. Catholic League? Catholic League. I'm assuming this is the Protestants. Harsh life on the ocean, I lose some sailors. Yeah, I just don't see myself being willing to get into a war right now. Maybe if I had played it differently earlier, when I was Emperor, I could have, like, done some stuff. But, like, now? Nah. Uh, get a penal colony for some local unrest, but also local settler increase. Or lose 10 admin. Yeah, set up a penal colony. Send our prisoners out there. I'm down. It's a colony. Who cares about unrest in the colonies? That never goes badly. 
see, yeah, this is up to 64 a year now. Gifted Catholic. Um, I was very tolerant of the Jews. This is 20 piety. I don't know if I want 20 piety. That seems like a lot. Reformer in exile. Um, Protestant Reformation exposed cracks in the church, and though these cracks, and through these do cracks, dozens of churches emerged. With no one authority to declare a doctrine heretical, charismatic preachers had the chance to leave a lasting impression on the nation, nascent churches that emerged in opposition to Catholicism. Spurned by their home countries, some of these preachers arrived in neighboring lands seeking more fertile ground for their proselytization. Uh, allow him to live in peace. Get a reform. Get a theologian, but twenty percent and forty percent of the population will be converted to reformed. Um, arrest him. Lose one stab. No, thank you. Invite him to Fiorenza to show us the way. Lose two stab. Ugh, looks like I'm letting them convert. I don't want to lose stability right now. It didn't flip, so that's nice, at least. Do you still have positive progress? Yes, you are still moving. Much more slowly, most likely, but still technically moving. Where's my explorers at? I'd like to see what they're unco uncovering. I mean, I found Ber Bermuda. Maybe some outer... Nope. Gifted Reformed Christian. Always room for talented men. I don't want to gain that piety. Jewish, syn Jewish Synagogue. Allow the construction. Give me them ducats. I do wonder if Bermuda is within my colonial range. Probably not. Let's be honest. Probably not. I just wonder it. Okay. And again, I think I'm, especially because Portugal hasn't come to Africa yet, I think I'm okay just dominating Africa. Or at least the trade, the trade cities in Africa. Lost a dude. My only level one guy is a fort defense and siege ability guy. I could let it let it rock for a second. Oh no, not not protect trade, not that. Explore. Just try to pay back this loan first before I worry about it. I'm not super hard up for military points right now. So I'm thinking, what if once my loan is repaid, I look at going and attacking these dudes, okay? Hopefully because they are my religion and they are in Italy, I don't anger these dudes up here. And... Yeah, that's basically all I've thought through right now. Nine oh nine, geez. Making that money. Also, not entirely sure I should be focusing military anymore. Maybe dip, but I'm making a lot of dip as well. Um getting closer to that centralization being done. Do I have any others? Yes, I do want to have that recruitment drive act on, as a matter of fact. Seven out of my 70k, 70K manpower. Back. Trying 
trying to think of how I'm going to deal with these Turks, man. To deal with them, I probably need to conquer all this. Become Italy. That's just spitballing. Provincial unrest a little bit in Pumonte. Still finishing up some cores. A missionary in Livorno is progressing, technically. And the Caribbean. Doesn't really look like anyone's colonized it. Which, I mean, there's a lot to be made in the Caribbean. Uh, repay the loan. We did it. Wait, I have another loan? No. No, I don't. Um, what do I want to focus here? I guess dip makes the most sense? Nah, let's just stay on military. Hire the level 1 guy now. Build up a little bit of a war chest so that I don't go directly into debt as soon as I raise maintenance. This should be a reconquest war, actually, so... Shouldn't even be that bad. Come back from here right quick. Wait, I don't have a cast belly? I don't have a I don't have a core on them? Apparently I was forced to give up my core. Ooh, they'd be really close to accepting vassalization, but I don't really feel like I need to do that. Although that would be absolutely no aggressive expansion. And I could feed them some of this. What's my... I have four out of four currently. Build a spy network. I wouldn't mind vassalizing them, but I'm at my relations limit. I mean, I could break an alliance, like with the Teutons. Yeah, the Teutons aren't really going to help me in anything. Really. I feel like this just allows me to expand, at least into the province that I used to own, without taking on any more aggressive expansion. Come back. Large revolts, great. All right, start improving. I need to oh, we've had this Monte for a while, guys. I need to royal marriage the cants. Transfer trade power. Probably could have gotten more out of that. Oh, uh, that unlawful territory is going to hurt. That unlawful territory is going to hurt. Can make a state in Sardinia. Should have plenty of room for states, so 
Alright, I'm just out here trying to vassalize someone I already vassalized once before. Where's Guarantee at? Give them military access. Twenty seventh of January to guarantee them. Gifted Sunni. Sure. Bring it on. Cannot guarantee someone I have a truce with. I have a truce with them? Apparently I do, till 1538. Would you look at that? Well, good thing I didn't try to go to war with them. Well, go ahead and uh, go back to improving with outrage countries. And... Looks like I'm going to be able to get enough Diplo points to do stuff. And with all that manpower, I'm going to go ahead and go back to rooting out corruption. Colonies are at 270 and 274. Okay. 404 from the Adriatic. Jeez. And our king is a brilliant strategist. Morale of armies, land force limit, and prestige from land battles. Man, that would have been useful earlier. That would have been a lot. A lot of useful earlier. Who are you? Jewish synagogue for Fiorenza? Yeah. Just give me the ducats. Who are you allied to again? The Knights, Austria, and Savoy. I mean, I probably need to wait. Again, probably I need to wait until uh, until this League War fires. If it fires, which I think it should. I think it will. Although a lot of the Protestant powers are down here. And uh, we're not joining. So there's that. But, anyway, we will deal with that and more on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. How much do you think Portugal has colonized? I mean, we can't really see. The map is even still covering it up. It doesn't look like they've hit this up at all, though. So either they're just banking on Brazil? It doesn't look like they've gone there either. Or they're just not colonizing. How far into, how far into colonization are you guys? You haven't taken colonization ideas. No, exploration. Okay, you've, you've finished exploration ideas. How did you finish it? How did you do that without finishing naval ideas? I don't even know. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.